go ahead the next one okay it's the eye is not so easy to track now but it is moving in the radar range okay so just go to the next picture and here you can see that it's uh, not nice circular like it was before so it's having a little bit of problem but uh, at the same time they brought the intensity up to uh, 90 knots from 70 knots so uh, that's that's probably what it should have been uh, you know six or twelve hours earlier but that's fine it's in the ballpark it's moving toward the Marianas go ahead uh, the same kind of situation is up there the complexity of the atmosphere you can see this thing heading toward Japan and uh, actually some of the outflow is coming down here, probably uh, interfering with this one to a certain extent. But, uh, next. This was uh, a few hours ago, and then uh, this was the latest one that we have. They're all dark. <laughs> next. Here's the radar. There's the eye. We've been tracking it. It's moving about 18 knots or 21 miles an hour at about 290 degrees. Uh, it's been moving just right on a straight line right towards Song Song Village. So, uh, so that means part of the eye, part of the eye, it's uh, got a small eye, 10 nautical <coughs> mile diameter, which is pretty small. Now, part of that's going to be in the Rota Channel, so we probably are going to feel some winds on the northern part of Guam. The, uh, the thing that helps is the rapid speed of movement is going to diminish the distance that those strong winds go to the south but it's going to increase the distance they go to the north so they're probably going to feel pretty good uh, get a pretty good hit in Tinian as well as uh, Rhoda okay and this was the uh, this is the track they have it going a little north of uh, Rhoda but actually I think it's probably tracking just a little south of uh, the southern uh, southern tip of Rhoda if it goes north, then Senapalo gets hit the hardest on Rota. If it goes south, then Song Song gets hit the hardest. Uh, you notice uh, here, 115 mile an hour uh, uh, winds. So uh, right here, they had 105 mile per hour winds, 7 p.m. Next, it just shows the uh, uncertainty. They're pretty confident about the track. So we probably don't have to worry about a direct hit here on Guam. Uh, it's at our latitude now, about four and a half. I mean, uh, 13 and a half north, so. Next. <coughs> so, this was the uh, earlier position, 13.4 north, 147.8 east. Uh, it's based on radar, and it's just about 200 miles from everything. And uh, current movement was toward the west-northwest, 21 miles per hour, expect to continue this track through uh, through Monday. Current intensity around 100 and 105 miles per hour. And uh, this is the size of the wind field. It's going to be less to the south and more to the north. So uh, this is kind of an average. And we're looking for uh, around the 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock CPA. So just keep in mind the CPA means that it's moving away, but it doesn't mean the worst is over, okay? Uh, we expect the monsoon to hook into this thing, and that's going to, uh, to keep the rain coming for a couple of days, probably. Mile per hour winds, probably around 11 p.m. tonight. The uh, onset time of, uh, of uh, destructive winds, maybe around 2 a.m., and then uh, typhoon winds, if we feel any, going to be on the northern part. We probably will get some in the Rota Channel in the Guam waters, so... Uh, around uh, 4 a.m. Maximum sustained wind we're looking for is about 75 miles per hour on the northern part of the island and uh, less as we go to the south. 